everybody, it's Tony from Creative Chica Halls, and today is Tea Tuesday, so let's spill the tea. Okay, everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Tony from Creative Chica Halls, and it's Tea Tuesday. And I figured, hey, why not just throw a Dollar Tree haul in with this and get it over with, okay? <laughs> So anyway, so today is actually July the 4th, and I'm wearing my patriotic hat that my friend Kelly Sandy Design sent me. Isn't it cute? I just love it. I want to find some patriotic hat pins to stick on there. One of these days, maybe I will. My husband, uh, he was telling me this morning that um, maybe we were going to plan make it, uh, a trip to Savannah, Georgia. And uh, it's like a historic city there, and we've never really been there. So, hang on, he's coming into the house. Okay, so he's in there sitting down, so he has to take a little break because he's fixing to go mow the grass <laughs> on 4th of July. <laughs> How you like that? So, anyway, like I was saying, we were talking about maybe taking a trip to Savannah, Georgia. I've never really been there before, but it might make a nice little trip. Usually we go to the Smoky Mountains or up in North Carolina. So, we're thinking about maybe doing that this summer. But I'm telling you, it is so hot out there. I don't know. I don't even know. I don't know how hot it is up in Georgia. I'm sure it's pretty hot because Linda from Linda's Creative Life, she was talking about how hot it was up there. She has to stay in the house. You know, it's, it's very hot. It's hot here in Florida as well. So anyway, so we celebrated our 4th of July on Saturday. And our son and our grandsons came over and they played in, you know, in the water, you know, with the squirt guns and stuff. And we barbecued, you know, like hot dogs, hamburgers. Um, we grilled corn on the cob, which was really, really good. And then uh, I made that salad that Bonnie was talking about that I had mentioned on my cucumber salad video that you chop up. Well, you cut up. You don't really chop it up. Cut up the uh, cucumbers, tomatoes, and the red onions. And then you put the Paul Newman's uh, dressing on there. Now, if you wanted, uh, it's the oil and vinegar, but if you want it to be a little bit tangier, I would say put some Italian dressing on there. I'm going to try that next time because uh, it was good. It was really, really good, but I like mine with a little bit more tang to it. So anyway, so yesterday was Sunday, so my husband and I, we decided to go shopping. And so we did a little bit of shopping. And we went to Rural King and we went to Dollar Tree and... Um, Walmart, but I'm not going to show you the Walmart haul or anything like that. So I'll just show you what I got at Dollar Tree. Now today, since I'm doing the Tea Tuesday and a haul, I'm not really drinking any tea. I'm not drinking any coffee. So it is what it is. So uh, first of all, I oops, whoops. I, actually I went to Dollar Tree this morning, which is the Fourth of July. Okay. And um, I had to go down, also had to go to Cricut to get my phone checked out because, you know, the pixelation, the pixeline or pixelation that's been going on, I had to see what's going on there with my phone because, you know, like I said, my phone, it just like, um, they redid it. What do you call it? Uh, I can't remember what you call it. Anyway, um, so, uh, you know, it was like all brand new hardware and stuff like that, new things like it, my Everything was bigger, and it's like, what, what is going on? So anyway, so I had to check on my YouTube uh, through my Google account, and I had to change the settings to high resolution through YouTube. So whenever they, whenever YouTube downloads my videos, then uh, it's on high resolution. So y'all probably need to check that to make sure that yours is. If you're having that sort of problem, I don't know if that's going to fix it. I have no idea. So anyway, so while I was down at Dollar Tree, I saw these, and um, I don't use these pegboards, but my friend Bonnie from Bonnie's Corner does. So I picked her up three because she's been looking for them, and I told her, I messaged her, I said, hey, I see them down here. I said, do you need them? And I was glad that she got back with me because I didn't want to make another trip down there, right? So I picked up three of these for her, and um, so I'll be mailing those out to her pretty soon. Um, I don't... I don't have anywhere to put those, you know, I, I really don't, so I just put all of my stuff in the little containers, and then that's how I, that's how I roll with my stuff in my craft room. Okay, so, um, and also while I was down there, now this is like from a couple of Dollar Trees, okay, so I was down there, they have these new storage boxes, the school boxes, this one's in a real pretty, it looks like 
almost like a Tiffany blue green, and that is like my favorite, one of my favorite colors there. So I picked that one up because you know these are so nice, and they come out with these now whenever school is fixing to start, which is not for another month or so, but always right after July the 4th, they're putting out the school stuff. So before you know it, the Halloween stuff's going to be out. Well, some places already have Halloween out, so that's crazy. So anyway, so we got to get through summer first, right? So I got that one. I think that's really pretty. So I put like um, a lot of my craft supplies in these. And uh, here is my my receipt for Fetch. If you don't have Fetch, you should download Fetch because, and uh, scan your receipts and you get um, gift cards, you know, up to $25 sometimes. So, hey, and to a lot of restaurants, stores, and, um, oh, and Amazon as well. So, yeah. So, I saw these uh, Sharpies down there, and uh, these are good to, like, write notes and stuff on cards, you know, because I'm into card making now, and um, I was... Before, I was a little bit afraid of the card making, but now I'm trying to make more. And I think the more that you make, the easier it gets, right? So, I did make a real pretty one for Martha Hamilton. Go over there and check out her channel. It's a flamingo. She even told me, she said, Tony, I am going to frame this <laughs> because, you know, it had flamingos and stuff on it. So, it, was, it turned out really, really pretty. So, anyway, so I like writing in the cards. Um, not, sometimes ink is okay, but um, these colored markers are really pretty. Maybe to, more, uh, to send somebody a little message in there. So, these are called Mystic Gems, and they are new uh, in the school supplies at Dollar Tree. They're by Sharpie, and this one's a fine permanent marker. And it's, um, I don't know if it has a color. It just, it's just a light green color. It doesn't really say like the color of it so they had this one and then I found this one down there is light blue so I don't have any of these colors here so I said yeah I'll get those and then they had this one it's like a lilac light purple and then they had this little pretty light pink one which this one almost it almost looks coral color to be honest Actually, it, look, it does, doesn't it? It looks coral. But that's okay. I don't have that color. So, anyway. So, also, um, so, down there, they have those little glass jars. So, um, I needed, like, a slight bigger one for my flossers because the little one that I have in there is just too small. It doesn't hold a whole bag of flossers. So, I said, well, I'll wait till these come out. So, I got this one. It's in pink. Now, the little knobby thing looks crooked. I don't know. It's just the way it's made. <laughs> But anyway, so that's going to go in the bathroom to hold my little flossers. And it's in the real pretty pink. And these are called trinket trays. I don't know why they're called trinket I guess you just put trinkets in it, I suppose. Trinket trays, to me, are those little flat things. The little flat trays, those are trinket trays to me. So, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, so, oh, I also bought this. And it is in like a hot pink. And what it is... Um, my friend Miranda, ooh, I can't remember her name of her channel because she's changed it, but she does movies, uh, reviews and stuff on movies and stuff like that. But in free mail, she sent me this little purse, right? And sometimes I don't like carrying my big purse with me. Let's say like whenever me and my husband, we go out and we go out to eat. I don't really like carrying that big old purse with me because for some reason it's heavy and it's not because there's money in it either, but it's like, I don't know why it's so heavy. Like, I try cleaning it out, and every purse that I have, it tends to be heavy. But then again, you know, I carry a lot of extra little things in there, like sanitizers. I carry um, glue for my fingernails and stuff like that. So, anyway, so what I did was I bought this to put my credit card in, or, you know, my debit card, to put in here, and along with my phone, and just carry that around. And uh, I did that yesterday, but I didn't have one of these, and... Um, I said, I'm afraid that my card is going to fall out. So, and it actually did at McDonald's when we were sitting there eating. So I said, oh, no. <laughs> but it was right in my lap. I said, see, this is why I don't want to do this. So I need one of these. So they had a hot pink one down there, and it was only 50 cents. So I said, alrighty then. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. So I got that. And then um, my husband and I, we were shopping. You know, he always likes to get in snacks, okay? So he found this moon pie. This is new. I've never seen this before. It's the double-decker strawberry 
three double decker pies, 8.25 ounces moon pie in my strawberry. How do you like that? And also, you know, Wendy's, they have a strawberry frosty now, guys, in case you didn't know, and it's delicious. So anyway, yeah, so we got that. I said, hey, that's nice. And so he got him some Buddy Bars, the delicious deals, and these are good. These were, you know, they're really, I mean, they're really close to Little Debbie, to, to be honest. And these are eight count, and uh, you get four 1.8 ounces. The net weight is 7.2 ounces. Okay. So I bought uh, a pack of these. These are two storage containers. And I like to have these like whenever my son comes over and he wants to take some leftovers home, uh, then I have something like this to put them in. And then I don't have to worry about him taking uh, my green uh, containers off. So I bought uh, one pack of these. I may have to get some more cause you know, like he comes over almost every weekend cause you know, he's such a wonderful son that he likes to spend time with his parents. I mean, what more can you ask for, right? So, yeah, and our other son, you know, he's in North Carolina, but he wants to come down here pretty soon. So, um, I don't know whenever he's coming, but um, I, you know, I'll be glad whenever, you know, I get to see him again. So, anyway, I picked that up. I may get some more, but, you know, like to put, you know, like leftovers. He, he loves my peach cobbler, so I send some peach cobbler home with him a lot of times. Okay, so, the new storage containers, I should have showed these with my uh, Tiffany blue one that I got. Okay, this one is a lilac color, guys. I don't know if you can tell, but it's a really pale lilac color. So I had to get it. And, um, you know, these here, like, um, I'm running out of space, really, to put those uh, in my shelf. So um, I'll, I'll find a place to put them because, you know, I just, but I wanted to get these colors. Then they had this real pretty, light pink one. Oh, that was so pretty. So, yes, this is called um, Storage Containers from the Teaching Tree. So, I got those. And then, at um, this one Dollar Tree that we went to, it's a bigger Dollar Tree, I found these stickers. Aren't they cute? Look at that deer. So, I'm not really sure what I want to do. Maybe I'll put them on my uh, boxes, you know? I'll put one on my box like that that would be pretty wouldn't it because honestly i don't have any wall space to put anything i really really don't and besides that the walls in all of my rooms are mudded you know and painted over you know they, they have like a texture on them because we mudded them that's what we call it mudded i don't know what you actually call it it was like with drywall stuff that we did it we did the whole house that way so i really can't put stickers and stuff like that unless i put them on a door okay so, but I thought these were so stinking cute. Look, it's a raccoon and a fox. We actually saw a fox in our yard. Well, it was way back in the woods because we got the woods cut down back there where we could see, but we saw a red fox walking, uh, you know, that way. Except I don't want that fox coming near my ki uh, chickens, okay? <laughs> Stay away from my chickens. Okay, and then the owl. So, I thought those was cute. These are new Main Street Wall Creations and then... As you can see right here, they also had this sticker here separately, and it says, uh, you are my sunshine, and that was separate if you wanted to buy something like that and do like a wall mount there. So I got those because I've never seen them before. Okay, so the other day, I was out of these. <clears throat> so I had to buy them at Walmart real quick. Uh, <clears throat> my goodness, I could use some water, you know what I'm saying? But I'm not going to go get it. Uh, these are the Assured 100% Pure Cotton Rounds. I use these all the time. I clean my face with my Sea Breeze since I was a teenager. I love my Sea Breeze. I love my Sea Breeze. And so you get, how many you get? You get 80 count for $1.25. Now, whenever I went to Walmart, I got a pack of 100, and they were $1.98. So these are the better deal, okay, guys? And uh, so I got six of those. <laughs> so I don't run out because I had to rearrange my bathroom and my drawers in there and stuff. And I had to rearrange because I said, where I've got all of my stuff, I can't even tell what I got. I can't tell how many face masks I have. I can't tell where all of my face stuff is that I have extra of. And I'll, you know, like my little wipes, you know, from the, um, 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 I bought some, what is it called? Bolero, Bolero, okay. So I got six of those and I'm gonna put those in the drawers in there, okay. And so my husband, sorry for bending, guys, but I gotta, oh my gosh, let me get this stuff here. Oh my word. Okay, 
So my husband, he uh, likes using the Palmolive Classic Scent, and he always checks to make sure that he's getting the best deal. <laughs> That's my husband for you. Anyway, this one is, you get three 3.2 ounce bars, and so it's a total of 9.6 ounces. So he got this one, it's a Classic Scent, and then he got this one, the Jurgens Mild Soap, three bars, and it's nine ounces. And, um, so yeah, so he has to use like, um, the mild soaps and stuff because if not, I mean, I don't know whether he's got like the condition I have with my skin. It's like, um, dermatitis because like, you know, if I get soap or something under my rings, it starts turning red and everything. And it, it, it's just like, and then you start getting a little rash like I do right here on my arm right here. Sometimes I get like a little rash and I got to put antibiotic ointment on it. It's just, it's just. It's not good to have, but, you know, it's one of those things. You know, you got to live with that. Okay, so I found the Bolero Refreshing Facial Wipes Watermelon. And I like using these sometimes, you know, before I put my makeup on and stuff. And I really do like Bolero. And, um, oh, it's distributed by Raw Sugar, Sherman Oaks. Okay. Okay. But this is the watermelon. They had different different ones, but I only got three. So I got the watermelon one here, and then I got this one here. It's the strawberry, guys. Strawberry. And you get 32 wipes there. And then I got the mango. They also had one that said orange peel, which I might get that next time. But my Dollar Tree does not have these. This other store had them, so I don't know. We'll see. But, yeah, I like using this. Okay, so we went to Rural King, and I always love looking at the t-shirts because I'm a t-shirt fanatic, guys. At one time, I never would wear t-shirts, guys, but now I just live in them. So I love, love, love Rural King t-shirts, and they're not too expensive either. So this one was $6.99, and it's this real pretty color here, and this one says Salty Heifer on it. <laughs> But, oh my gosh, isn't she cute with those sunglasses? Yeah, she's salty. She's a salty heifer. <laughs> so I love that to wear, you know, during the summer months. And I love this color, too, because it's a real pretty uh, bluish-greenish color. And it's, uh, you know, it's a pastel. So uh, it was $6.99. They have a lot of different shirts over there at Rule King, but you have to get there at a good time because they get picked over really, really quick. In fact, this one was laying somewhere. This salty heifer was laying in another area. And I said, um, let me see what this is. So it was my size. And I said, it was $6.99. I said, I'm going to get it. Now, they used to be $5.99, guys. <laughs> so they raised it. So then I found this one in another table. And this one is like a, um, it's a dark pink. And it says, um, I speak foul language. Okay? So it's got a chicken on it. Isn't it cute? So, yeah, I love that. So, this was my size. It's extra large. I like wearing extra large. And um, this one was supposed to be $9.99, but she charged me $6.99. And I told her, I said, um, I said, was that one six? She said, I just charged you $6.99 for both of them. I said, okay. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to argue with you, okay? But, um, anyway, I don't know if she knew it was $9.99, but it is what it is. But, isn't that cute? I just can't wait to wear it. I can't wait to wear it. I love uh, chicken shirts. I have a slew of them. I actually collect chicken shirts, okay? Because every year in the springtime, they bring out the chicken shirts and stuff. But they, um, but Rural King, they always have different things like that. So anyway, so uh, I think that's all of my haul and my Tea Tuesday. So I appreciate everybody for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I will catch you all on my next video. I hope you all had a wonderful um, 4th of July, and enjoy the rest of your week. Love you guys. Bye.